Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another quick transmission from my tech keyboards. I just want to give you a preview of what I got coming uh, this week. And if you guys have any questions, comments, anything you'd like me to focus on on any of these products that I will be reviewing over the next week, please let me know in the comments down below or come on over to our budget keeps or our discord server and we can discuss. So um, this one I've already started. It's the Akko PC75 B Plus version two. Um, so far I'm liking what I see, but I haven't finished the video. So if you guys, again, have any questions about it, please do let me know and I'll do my best to cover it. Now, another thing, and this was also sent out by Akko and I'm looking forward to this. This is the Mod 007 upgrade kit. It's the FlexCut PCB. Doesn't have any LEDs, but, um, I could be mistaken. It might be via compatible, but it might be cloud driver. I don't know, but we'll get there. I do have a mod 007 waiting. So we're going to take out the, and I've got the mod 00, ah, I have the mod 007 V1. So the first one, it's got the north facing, um, this one's south facing without LEDs, but this should be interesting. And let's see how good I can make that mod 007 sound because I still, do love how that keyboard looks. Now, another little interesting thing that I that I have coming up this week, and I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I don't know how familiar you guys are with the BM65 uh, from KP Republic. It is a just a plastic kit with like three pieces, uh, PCB, the plate on the top and the half bottom case. It's very simple to build, but it is a um, I don't know. I've always liked it. It is a buy a keyboard. Uh, I believe there's QMK source for it as well. But just recently, um, KP Republic released the Poseidon series of cases. Now there's the PSD 65 and the PSD 60. Um, each one works for their existing, um, for the BM60 and the BM65, I believe. This one's for the BM65. So I'm going to be taking a PCB and putting it in here. It basically converts your plastic um, BM60 or BM65 into a uh, gasket mounted uh, aluminum. This is a quite a nice kit, comes with all the pieces and everything, as well as an aluminum plate. So I think that's gonna be interesting because I have a spare BM65 so we can compare it, the stock build to the upgraded Poseidon 65 build. Now, along with those products, I also have quite a few switches that I'm going to be trying out here. Um, I have to admit, I've tried, I think, a little too hard in trying to come up with my switch format. I'm trying to do too many things in at once. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start filming them with some of the ideas I've had, some of the ideas that have been given to me by some respected members of the community. Um, and I will adjust as I go. Please feel free to let me know. Um, these aren't going to be very long. I'm basically going to stick to the facts, what materials they're made out of, um, their spring weights, pre-travels, all of that. Then do simple sound tests. Some of them will have full keyboard sound tests. Some of them will only have partial keyboard sound tests on different keyboards with different keycap profiles so that you guys can kind of get a sound. Um, I've already made the decision to go ahead and get a microphone. Uh, should be here in the next couple of weeks, but I have adjusted what I currently have, um, finding the right distance, which seems to be about eight inches in this space. When I move spaces, it might change, but at least getting a Shure XLR, I think is going to allow me to reproduce sound test to be as close to in real life as possible. I mean, obviously we are, we are going analog to digital so it's not going to be perfect but i want to get as close to that as possible so now some of the interesting switches that i'm really looking forward to and i haven't opened these up um rook studios has basically parts that you can buy you can create your own switch so i uh, i picked up these upe stems with um modified nylon top housings and UHMWPE hump, 
Kumpe. Um, bottom housing with uh, 53 gram triple stage springs. So it's a linear switch. It should be, should make for an interesting little combination, but I get to build that. So looking forward to that. Um, I have uh, the new Akko V3 Pro switches, uh, both the cream blue and the cream pro yellow. I, I gotta say I was impressed with the uh, the non-pro switches or the ones that don't have the dust proof stem. So I'm really looking forward to uh, checking these out. And then Kinetic Labs was kind enough to send me a, a nice selection of switches. The Honami Dango Pinks as well as the Honami Dango Greens. One's a tactile, one's a linear. We also have the, uh, DDD, uh, the DD Jingle Linears. The um, Arctic Fox Clicky. And I gotta say, I actually like these clickies. I wonder if you guys will too. And then some Voyager tactiles. And that's all coming from Kinetic Labs. I will be, um, these are blue bonnets. And I have a, um, Jason from Sepsity sent me over a rehouse. Um, I'm gonna be building that and testing, doing a switch test on the rehouse, kind of in the, the same vein. Uh, but a rehouse basically takes a DZ60 PCB or GH60, a couple of, of those PCB as well, the Heine boards, I believe they're called. Um, and it is an acrylic uh, case that you can put it into. It's a 60%. So I'm going to be trying them out with these, with the Wisterias that are also from Zep City. Looking forward to that. Then I have some, uh, oh yeah, these switches are from Dang Keebs. And I'm really looking forward to these. I've heard good things. I, I have resisted the temptation to jump into them and and and, and play with them. I want to um, kind of do first impressions about them. But I got the melon milk switch, the cookies and cream, and the blueberry swirl switches. So I'm really looking forward to these. And I got to say, I love these containers. I'm now, uh, Meow Key, which is a newer shop, they sent me over some Texi Blue Balloon switches to give a try, as well as some, um, I want to say they're, I can't remember the name of them, uh, but there's some keycaps that I will be. But Meow Key is one of the vendors that participated in the uh, Budget Keeps giveaway. Um, they actually sent this to me right around that time, so I'm kind of a little late on getting to these, so I'll probably be moving these up on the schedule. I will also be taking a look at these flash cart Flash Quark switches that were sent over to me by Flash Quark, as well as the Horizon C, uh, which is a 60% QMK board. So we're gonna be taking a look at that as well. We'll also be taking a look at a couple of macro pads, one of them from Fecker and one of them a DOIO. So we'll be taking a look at these. We'll be taking a look at quite a few things over the next week. I've got a full schedule. I'm gonna be filming basically uh, from after breakfast till dinner time. So, uh, and I might actually do a video outside because the weather has just been so beautiful. Um, and I don't know, what will a, what would a sound test sound like outside? Prettier? Birdier? <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what's upcoming in this week, in this coming up week. Um, obviously through next week since today is already Tuesday. Uh, but again, I hope that you guys had an enjoyable holiday weekend. And if you guys have any questions for any of the things that I'll be taking a look at this week, let do let me know. After I get through these, I have some interesting uh, mod videos I'm going to do. I'm preparing the uh, Gas 67, or the, I'm sorry, the GMK 67. I have three of them. And I'm going to be doing the stock, stock, clack um, on it. And actually, I don't know if I'm going to do silent or not, but we'll see. We'll see on that. I have three colors, but I don't have the green and I don't have the purple. Though I'm kind of want to get it, but three is maybe enough. Come on, guys. Talk me out of it. Help. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, until the next transmission, keep calm and keep it on.